Hello everyone. I think I've made around four or three videos about Ubisoft at this point, and it's becoming a real battle to go against these guys and try to really show them how stupid they are because they never are able to see it. Of course, they don't see my videos. I have like a thousand subscribers now, which thank God we finally got there, right? I'm starting to get passionate about this battle with Ubisoft. It's going to be like a series on my channel, a playlist of Ubisoft videos. Like this is my battle with Ubisoft. I don't want them to ever get the upper hand. So today I'm back talking about them with a very weird pricing for a new game that's coming out. It's the new Assassin's Creed game. And I know a lot of people are talking about it for a set of specific reasons, but I don't give a shit about that. First of all, to throw off anybody that's like, this is, this is not realistic. Uh, remember when the Pope shot laser beams at you and turned invisible? Why don't we find out? Assassin's Creed is not realistic at all. You jump from heights unimaginable into a box of hay and you somehow live. Anyways, I don't care what they did with that. They can do whatever. They can do whatever with their characters as long as the game is good and as long as the game is not priced as such that I'm about to tell you. Here we go, I'll start it off easy for you guys. Standard edition, standard edition, normal gaming stuff. Games now are priced at $70, sucks, but this one is also priced at $70. Just standard, just the normal game with a pre-order bonus involved. Not that bad, I don't like modern gaming pricing, but whatever. Gold edition is where we get into some nitty gritty. Everything listed before, plus a season pass and three days early. You're gonna play it three days early. I really don't like when games have season passes, especially a solo game. Like, if you're grinding the season pass in a solo game, you need help, you should be locked up. And whoever at Ubisoft decided this, I don't I don't even know what to do with them. Lock them up, throw away the key. It's so unneeded and completely unnecessary. By the way, if you see me looking off screen, I'm looking at the prices. It's bewildering. I'm not even the first one to say it, just don't involve season passes in a solo game. Whoever buys this version of the game you're wasting your money and also if you pre-order the game you're getting it three days late yeah that's what people are talking about online if you don't want to get it three days early you're gonna get it three days late because it'll release and everyone else will be playing it but then you'll be sitting there with your pre-order thing not able to touch anything until those three days are up okay then ultimate edition i have to move on before i end my life pre-order bonus of course yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's the pre-order bonus thing is fine but die the season pass unneeded unnecessary you get it three days early you just get it on the release day and the ultimate pack the ultimate pack it includes just skins and like five free skill points that's is that worth 129 dollars guys 20 dollars more just to have some skins. Just to have some skins. That is immensely insane. And for the gold edition, just to have all the, the, these shitty little things for like $40 more is insane. I'm starting to smell blood. I see red, guys. $70 to $110 to $130. This is completely and utterly overpriced. And if you try to defend it, go into my comments. Try to defend it in my comments. I want to see if some defender of this pricing will show up here. Please comment down below what, what, what you think. Because this is just sad if someone pays for this. And this is all even if the game is good. The game could be dog shit. Also, you want to know that pre-order bonus I've been telling you about? It's a mission. It's titled Thrown to the Dog. So to get this most likely a key story mission, you have to fork over $70 redoozies to obtain a most likely story important mission. I mean, look at the name, Thrown to the Dogs. That seems pretty fucking important. Even if it's not important, like come, a, fuck, a single mission as a pre-order bonus thing, like thrown in here with all this stuff, just make that mission free. It's like they'll throw in anything into this. Probably at some point they'll be throwing in final bosses into this bullshit. They'll literally grab anything to throw in here oh and by the way they list uh, the ubisoft plus hopefully the amount of people that have ubisoft plus is not a lot because i want them to shut that down it's completely useless nobody will ever use ubisoft plus and i just hate subscription services entirely they all are terrible and suck and are dog shit like hulu they make you pay so that you can watch ads i hate it i hate it all i hate every single tad bit of this it's terrible, and I did. and they did this previously, like in one of my last videos, I talked about the Star Wars one, talked about those prices. 
along with some other stuff. That video was interesting. I liked looking into all that stuff. That game, all of that stuff was overpriced and it was terrible side stuff. And this is just to show that they're trying to push this even further. They're trying to clam and cram this into every game they could possibly have. Which is horrifying because we should not be promoting this, helping this in any fashion because more gaming companies are gonna look over and all of a sudden in a snap, every single company, everything everywhere will be listing their games exactly like this and they'll also be terrible AAA games. This is mostly why I stick to indie stuff because am I missing out on much by not buying a AAA game? I don't think I've bought a AAA game since I don't remember. The game actually looks good and I kind of like the trailer. People are making fun of it for different reasons, but playing in Feudal Japan, that might be a cool thing to do. I mean, we've seen a lot from the Assassin's Creed games and if this is a good game and I see good ratings, I might, I might get it, but I'm nobody. Zero people should be going up and doing this. Even the most big, big, huge Assassin's Creed fans should not be even looking this at the possibility. They should wait until it releases or do some other things that the world doesn't uh, need me talking about. But yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. I'm starting to take this YouTube job more seriously, so I got a few other channels for different reasons. I got my gameplay stuff, cause not a lot of people here like when I post gameplay stuff, like I don't get a lot of views on those. So I decided to make a different channel for it, to hit a different audience. And I got my other ones, just go check them out. There's videos on each one. And yeah, hopefully I won't have to make another U video about Ubisoft and they learn and they stop doing this and they stop existing maybe. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Go watch my TikTok video. <laughs>